So right after the quiz on HTML document standards, you have the fashion blog project. So let's start. Number one, to start at the doc type HTML declaration as the very first line of code at the top of the index.html file. Add the HTML element below. Okay, so let's start with doc type html and add the html element below let's check the hint make sure you include both opening and closing tags for the html number two below the html opening tag add a head element below the head element add the body element so head and i'm already gonna add every opening and closing tag so i don't forget later Within the head tags, add a title element. Title the website every day with Isa. Directly below the opening body tag, add an H1 that says an insider's guide to New York Fashion Week. So below the body, I'm going to add H1. And we're just going to copy this. And save, see if it's showing up. Below that, add an H2 that says getting tickets and picking the shows. I'm just going to copy this and change to H2. And copy getting tickets and picking the shows. Below that, add an H2 that says dressing for the shows. Number five, here's is a first dispatch from Fashion Week. Let's add a blog post between H1 and first H2 tag. Add a P tag that says NYFW can be New York Fashion Week can be both amazingly fun and incredibly overwhelming, especially if you have never been. Luckily, I'm here to give you an insider's guide and make your first show a pleasurable experience. By taking my tip and tricks and following your gut, you will have unforgettable experience. So we go between H1 and first H2 and add a P tag. Make sure to use spaces to indent so your code is readable. Okay, number six, between the first and the second H2 tag, add another paragraph to the post using the P tag. Okay, so between the first and the second H2, we're going to add P tags and this paragraph in between. Number seven, after the last H2 tag, add a final paragraph that says, add a final paragraph. So after H2, of course, there wouldn't be a fashion blog without some images. Above each paragraph, add an image tag and set its source to be one of the following links. The image tag is a self-closing and it will look like this. So we're going to add one image above each paragraph. So in order to add an image, we can use this syntax, image, source, and the URL. Image, source, and it is a self-closing tag, so we're just going to add pitch URL above each paragraph.
Okay, let's save now and see if it works. Your first blog post is complete. Now let's add an image of Isa so her readers get to know her. Below the opening body tag and an image tag with the following source. So we go here below the opening body tag and we're going to add another image. There she is, number 10, below the image tag at an H3 that says by Isabel Rodriguez one day ago. H3. Let's save. There it is, number 11. Isa wants her readers to know that she's written a lot more than one post. Let's make a list of some related blog posts beneath the last paragraph. Add a H4 tag that says related content. Underneath that header, create an unordered list. So after, you can come here after the last paragraph, create an H4 tag. And so we're going to add the list elements. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to copy each of these. Let's save, see if it worked. There it is. Let's get Isa's blog connected to the rest of the web. In the first paragraph, turn NYFW into a link and have it go to this link. Make sure to include target underscore blank attribute so that it opens in a new page. Okay, so let's copy this link. So we're going to create anchor tag and we're going to add href equals code. We're going to copy this link. And we're going to add target underscore blank. And I need to rewrite NYFW. User wants to make sure that her friends can get in touch with her. At the bottom of your body, add a new div and set its ID to contact. Inside the div, create a new paragraph tag and put the following contact information inside of it. At the bottom of the body, we're going to create a div and set ID to contact. And inside the div, we're going to create paragraph. Now I'm just going to copy this information. Inside the contact div, put strong opening and closing tags around email, phone, and address. So we're going to do around email, phone, and address. I'm just going to close each tag. Number 16, let's make the profile picture a link to the contact section of the web page. Find the profile image tag and surround it by opening and closing anchor tags in the anchor tag set href contact. So we're going to add anchor tag around image, href, contact, and it will connect to this information because we created an ID 
as contact. Congrats, you have got the beginnings of a solid fashion blog. Feel free to make modifications and practice your HTML by adding more contact. I forgot to add the alternative text here. Okay, let's save and see if the image link works. 